Today you announced plans for a fundamental restructure of the Anglo-American platinum business. Before we discuss the details of what is being proposed, can you talk us through the reasons for this? What's driving these changes? In 2012, we announced that we would be reviewing the entire platinum business to address the structural changes that have eroded profitability over time. We've made it clear over a number of years we've had mines and a number of shafts that have been unprofitable and we need to make a change to turn that around. The structural changes that we've seen in our business have come about as a result of very substantial increase in costs above inflation. We've seen those cost increases come from increasing mining depths, decreasing grades from mining more UG2, increasing capital intensity, and substantial increases above inflation of wages and of electricity. In addition to these huge cost pressures, we've seen a lower demand for platinum than we had previously anticipated, lower over the last few years, but also lower going forward than we had previously anticipated. These structural changes that have eroded profitability over time need us to take decisive action. Our objective is to once again create a stable, competitive and profitable platinum business. So what are you proposing today and, and what is the impact on production, on people and on jobs? Firstly, our operations need to be profitable and it's not sustainable for us to continue with the current configuration and unprofitable mines that we, that we have in our portfolio now. Our first step will be to shut down the unprofitable operations and secondly to align our production output with the demand of our customers for platinum. What that means for us is that our company will reduce the amount of platinum that we produce to about 2.1 to 2.3 million ounces per annum. The majority of the, of the reduction will come, back, will come from the Rustenburg area where we previously had five operating mines. We'll be reducing those five operating mines to three operating mines and produce in the Rustenburg area about 320 to 350,000 ounces on a sustainable basis going forward. This is a reduction from the 550,000 ounces that we've been producing over the last few years. In line with the reduced mining footprint, small amount of ounces that are produced, this will then require a smaller processing footprint and as a result of that we'll be shutting our waterfall UG2 concentrator in the Rustenburg area and putting on cairn maintenance, our number two smelter. Are there any changes that you're looking at beyond the Rustenburg mines and processing operations? We believe that the Union mine will be of greater value under different ownership, particularly when compared to our own portfolio of growth opportunities. For that reason, we plan to sell the Union mine at the right time. In the interim phase, we will be reconfiguring the Union mines we will be stopping Union North declines and combining the Union North and the Union South into one mine. We also have projects to increase the efficiency and reduce costs right across the company. And we seek by 2015 to increase the value of the company as a result of those projects by at least three and a half billion rand per annum. As a result of fewer operations, and a reduced mining footprint, this is likely to affect up to 14,000 jobs in our organization. We have also had a look at our joint venture operations to ensure that we have long-term sustainability and profitability in our joint ventures going forward. So taken together, what are all these changes designed to achieve? Our objective has been to create a stable, competitive, and profitable platinum business by taking proactive measures to address the structural challenges that we face. The successful implementation of these proactive measures will then enable us to create a stable employment environment for more than 45,000 people in this organization. 
It will also allow us to invest over 100 billion rand in this company for the next 10 years. Our customers, our employees, and South Africa as a, as a country will benefit from a profitable Anglo-American platinum. Some might say that this all looks like a reaction to the recent strikes. Is that the case? No, not at all. We announced in February of 2012, much earlier than the strike action commenced, that we would be reviewing our platinum business. We've also made it clear for some time that our platinum business ha has been under serious economic pressure. Although it's clear that the strike action has put additional economic pressure on the company, the strike action was not the cause of the platinum review. Let's come back to the people. What provision is being made for their futures? Have you put measures in place to support them through what is undoubtedly going to be a very difficult time? Yes, absolutely. We, we take our responsibilities to our employees and the communities very seriously. Clearly, we need to take action to restore the profitability of the Anglo-American platinum business and secure the future employment of more than 45,000 people. However, for employees that will be affected by the restructuring, we have a comprehensive social plan that has been put in place at considerable expense to offset some of the negative effects of a restructuring process. That social plan will be part of the engagement and the consultation process that we have with our employee representatives. You talk about a comprehensive social plan, and that sounds like a considerable challenge.